And hello everyone, uh, Jopke here with a quick video of a new art journal page. Uh, this uh, turned out to be a very short video. Uh, it isn't uh, a very difficult page, quite simple really, so uh, that's why. Um, working in my uh, art journal slash address book again, it's been a while since I worked in this, but I still have quite a few pages left to do in this book, so I thought to might as well use it today. And uh, first thing I did was adding gesso, a layer of gesso with my uh, spatula. And then I'm using this Tim Holtz um, stencil and uh, a modeling paste to uh, make some texture. Um, then I am using these Liquid Tex inks, uh, acrylic inks, uh, and they are very uh, great to use because um, once the color is dry, it's permanent, so it won't move again uh, if you um, go on top uh, of it with something uh, wet or an other medium so the color is permanent once it's dry and I'm just um, moving around the pattern of my stencil and trying to concentrate the color on that and not uh, to um, color the whole page and I'm using a blue a yellow and a green color of the liquid text ink and uh, try to maneuver the color with my heat tool uh, so it will go in the direction that I like it to go. Um, as I said, this will be a very simple page, uh, kind of uh, a clean style, I would call it, when it was a digital scrapbook page. But um, just using a few bits of uh, tissue paper I got in Happy Mail from Anya. And one had this beautiful bird on, and I decided to uh, use that. Um, and some text, just gluing a few pieces down. And this uh, cutout I got from Sunny in Happy Mail. And the text, book text paper I got from uh, Rini in Happy Mail. So working a lot with Happy Mail products today. Um, gluing the bird uh, onto the old book text paper, which has a very nice uh, uh, discoloring of of the of yellow, and um, then I am using the archival ink to color a bit around the edges, and also the black stazon ink to uh, do the same. Really, so it has. Um, a kind of a shadowy color onto the birds. Um, then I decide to make it a bit grungy and use some white gesso and a spatula to just scrape around the, the bird. So it's um, a kind of grungy looking now and um, really like the effect of that. So. I'm gluing that down with a golden uh, medium because it is a bit of a thicker paper. Uh, the gel medium is the perfect glue for heavier stuff and decided to put some uh, uh, weight on it and let it dry for a bit. Uh, the words that I cut out is the word sing. I just recently bought um, a silhouette curio and I'm still practicing with it. Um, I had a few words uh, cut out but uh, apparently I didn't choose the wrong uh, I, I did choose the wrong um, let the, the wrong font because uh, it didn't work all that well. Still have a lot of practice to do with that machine, but I love it a lot. Um, then some uh, coloring around the edges. This is a charcoal black uh, uh, pencil for the, the, the part where the, 
the ring of the bookies and the the rest of the edges I do with this stays on black ink. Um, I'm doing some uh, digital uh, designs again lately, so this video took a while for it uh, to be uploaded. Um, I have to find a balance between my digital designing and the art journaling, but I'm sure I will manage because I love it both. So hope you've enjoyed watching this video, guys. It was a short one, but uh, I had a lot of fun creating it. Um, well, see you again very soon next time. Bye bye.